If you have just bought the DJI Goggles version 2, running a Mac with the new M1 chip on Mac OS Monetary or version 11 or later, and having trouble updating the firmware for the goggles, then this video is for you. Oh my God, it just worked. I cannot believe it. So I spent 12 hours trying to figure this out and eventually I managed to update my DJI Goggles V2. It was a, a long, painful day. So I'm not going to waffle on. Let's get straight to the point. Now, this issue of not being able to update DJI Goggles V2 arises from the hornedisk.kext file when trying to install DJI Assistant 2. First problem is that you have a Mac, an M1 Mac specifically. And if you look on DJI's website, the DJI Assistant 2 software says specifically that it's not working with current versions of M1 MacBooks or running Mac OS version 11 or later. Problem two, you decided to download it anyway because it does work. I managed to upload my DJI PV remote and my Cadex Vista on my drone, no problem. So the software does work, it just doesn't work with the goggles, so it's very weird. But when you do try to update it, it downloads the firmware, but it just doesn't transfer and update it. It keeps telling you that the update has failed and gives you error. 5-100-4. If this is the error you're getting, then this is what I got too. Third problem was I don't have access to a Windows computer. I thought I could get around this by downloading a version of Windows and using UTM. I can create a separate video how to do this. And I gave it a go by trying to update the firmware through Windows and it still failed to update and it gave me the same error, 5-100-4. And then problem four, you don't have access to a DJI FPV drone itself to be able to update the firmware through your mobile device and then switch the goggles to DJI FPV mode instead of DJI dr drone mode. So the solution, you can use a MacBook running the new M1 silicon chips. You can update the goggles with the latest version of Mac OS. And this is the method that I found on GitHub. After many hours of searching YouTube and forums with little success, this solution worked for me. So it's pretty straightforward. And all you have to do is just follow these instructions. So step one, put your Mac into recovery mode. This is fairly straightforward on the latest Macs. Switch off the device completely. And then once it's shut down, hold the power button and just keep holding it until it boots up into recovery mode. You'll see that on screen. Just keep holding it. And once it's booted up, you want to disable system integrity protection to allow the running of the Hornless Kex file or the software that you're about to run. Step two, open up terminal and run the following command lines. Step three, once this is completed, you can restart your Mac back into normal mode. Step four is you go and download the file that's in the link in the description box down below. Step five, you can now go and update your DJI Goggles V2 firmware and just be patient. Like when I started to see the progress bar that it was updating, I, I was so relieved and I was just crossing my fingers it wasn't gonna hang or stall like it was doing previously. And lastly, once your goggles have successfully updated, remember to go back into recovery mode and revert your system integrity protection settings to as they were. I would always recommend taking your phone and taking screenshots as you go along to keep track of your progress. And that should be it. You should be running the latest firmware on your DJI Goggles V2 using a Mac. You must be so relieved at this point. I know I was. Oh my God, it just worked. I cannot believe it. It took me ages trying to find the solution, browsing through other YouTube solutions that worked previously in the past, but no longer anymore. And even forums, just trying to narrow down the specifics as we are dealing with the latest version of Macs, the new silicons, and then why DJI is not updating their firmware for it to work. This is it's crazy. Hopefully DJI can update their software soon so we don't all have to go through this long-winded workaround. If you do have trouble updating or it's not been working for you, put in the comment section down below what you're having trouble with and we can try and figure this out together. If this solution worked for you, great. Remember to give this video a like. It helps YouTube promote the video for others to see and find the solution. Subscribe for future drone and FPV content. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.